Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. Well, it's almost lunchtime. Hope y'all are doing good and enjoying the summer. We're having a pretty good summer. We're blessed. Troy is going to be gathering corn uh, here today, and I'm going to do the next video you see will probably be how we process our corn and put some in the freezer. I think I'm going to put some in jars and pressure can it. So you'll have a corn canning video coming up. I'm going to make us a semi-homemade meal today. I bought a bag of mini wontons. It's chicken and cilantro filled at Costco. And I'm going to fix those, but we need a dipping sauce. So I have a friend who had made this a long time ago, Linda Ludich, and she shared her recipe with me. And uh, I had kind of forgotten about it. And here a while back, April said, Mama, you remember that sauce you made that Linda gave you the recipe? And I said, I had forgotten about that. Well, I have a little drawer over here. And uh, I, I've showed it to y'all before that I file all my recipes in. Let me show you. When I was having my cabinets built, I wanted a drawer that I could use like a file cabinet. And see, I've got all of my, each, they're labeled. And so I don't usually lose a recipe because I've got my copies and I put them back when I get done with them. So I just went to my trusty little uh, drawer over there and looked up and I found my recipe. Now I'm doubling the original recipe and the recipe that I take a picture of is going to be the doubled one because it keeps in the refrigerator for a long time so when I make it I want to be sure that I have enough you know if we want to do this again in a day or two I don't have to go through making this all over again. What you do is you get your ingredients together number one and then you put them in a little boiler and you bring it to a boil on the burner and you make a slurry out of cornstarch and water and that's what kind of thickens it. But I'll bring you all over here and show you what I've got gathered up and what I'm going to use to make this sauce and then I'll get it made and when I cook our little wontons I'll show you and um, I'll dip one in it and make you wish you was here with me. Okay we have, um, I've got my little boiler here and I've got two-thirds of a cup of pineapple juice, a half a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a cup and a half of granulated sugar, a half a cup of water, and a cup of white vinegar. Now I'm going to get all of that in the boiler and get it hot and get the sugar all melted and all. Then I'm going to make a slurry out of my cornstarch and the water and pour that in there and just heat it till it thickens. And then I'll have some delicious dipping sauce to go with whatever I want to dip in it. So let's get this going. I'm going to add my water and my vinegar. Here I am with my little OXO measuring cups, bendable to make a spout. Just love it so much. Pineapple juice, and I didn't have any canned pineapple juice. So what I did, I just opened me up a uh, can of pineapple chunks because I'm going to use some of them in another recipe and drained me off enough of the liquid to have it. My soy's going in. And I need a little spatula and get this ketchup out. And I prefer Hunt's ketchup. Everybody has their own preference. But now I don't just use Hunt's. If there's something else on a good sale, especially if I'm going to be cooking with it, I'll buy whatever's on sale. Let me uh, whisk this a little bit with my whisk and then I'll add my sugar and then I'm going to get it on the stove and bring it to a boil. Almost didn't get a big enough pot, did I? Alright, 
let me get this over to the stove and get it to uh, heating. While that's heating, I'll go ahead and put my water. That's four tablespoons of water and four tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm just mixing it up. And you know, if it sets here for a little bit, you know what's going to happen. It's going to uh, kind of thicken and stick around the bottom. So I'll stir it again right before I put it in there. But that has to come to a boil. So I'm going to clean up the mess I've made so far. I'm going to let that come to a boil. And then I'll uh, put the camera over at the stove while I'm thickening it and finishing it up. Okay, it's starting to simmer. So I'll add my slurry in. It's a little bit. I'll bring y'all back when this thickens and uh, show you what it looks like. It's come back up to a boil, and I'm just going to let it simmer for about two to three minutes just to be sure everything is incorporated and there's no raw taste of cornstarch in it but you can see that rather than milky it's looking clear and it is thickening but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it about a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll be back with the finished product now I am whisking this and I have been uh, just about the whole time I just want to be sure that it mixes well and that it doesn't stick I'm going to tell y'all something funny that my grandson said. His daddy was talking to somebody that had a pretty foul mouth. And uh, when the conversation, I think he was maybe on the phone, on speaker, trying to fix something. And uh, when the conversation ended, after a while, April said, I'm going to tell you what, he talks like a sailor. And the youngest grandson said, Hey, mate, you think you would teach me how to talk like a sailor? And she was laughing so hard she could hardly respond. But she told him that he was cussing. That was what we call talking like a sailor. It wasn't talking mate language. Kids are so funny. Art Letter had that program years ago. Kids say the darndest things. Well, they do. Keeps us smiling. I could, I could tell y'all a lot of his little sayings that he's done that... In fact, I've got him written down because he's just funny. But he wanted to learn to talk like a sailor. Hope he never does, if that's what it is. Okay, it's thick and it's clear. It looks just like a dipping sauce ought to look. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit. And I'm going to fix two or three of those wontons and show y'all. And uh, I'm going to have a little snack while Troy's pulling corn. Here's my uh, mini wontons that I'm going to cook. And to pan fry them, it says to put enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom of a small nonstick frying pan. Heat on medium heat and add 10 to 12 frozen wontons until golden brown. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do 10 to 12 right now. So I will get the skillet ready and I'll bring you all over to the stove. I'm actually using my little La Crochet uh, pot. I fry in them a whole lot because they're cast iron enamel coated. So when it gets good and hot, we'll, we'll put some down in there. I'm going to use my little spider to sit them down in there and get them golden brown. And then I'll plate them up and I'll have a snack and I'll let y'all see my beautiful... It isn't brunch because it's actually after lunch time, but I haven't eaten today, so I can call it whatever I want to, Kana. Okay, I think my oil's hot enough. I'm going to drop just one down in there. I'm going to go ahead and do 12. Mess. Okay, I've got 
got some of the sauce in the bowl and my little wontons are fried crisp. Fixing the taste of them and see how good they are. Those are cilantro chicken. And that sauce is just, it'll be good with a lot of different stuff. My kids will probably want to dip their chicken tenders in it. I want to thank y'all so much for coming in the kitchen today and watching me splatter grease everywhere, fr frying and making these good, this good food. I already ate me one or two. I'll fess up. But I'm going to tell y'all something. This is very good. Don't you wish you was here? Mm-mm-mm. It's very good. So now y'all have another good recipe. You can dip french fries, shrimp, chicken tenders, just about anything in that. It's good. It's just a good sweet and sour. If you like that taste combination. I want to show y'all something else while I'm thinking about it. I want to plant some ginger. <clears throat> and if y'all want to plant ginger, when you go to the supermarket, look for ginger that has all of these little nodules sticking up. And if they're sprouting, you'll get a plant from each sprout. I got this one, and it's ready to plant. It's got some big... So I'm going to plant this in a pot, try to raise my own ginger. But I watched a guy on YouTube who's fabulous, and he said, always look, and if it looks like they're fixing to have sprouts coming out, Get that piece if you're getting it to plant. So that's what I did. So now you got an extra little tip in with the sweet and sour sauce. This makes me think of, you know, I'm going to need ginger for a Chinese dish. If y'all haven't subscribed, I wish you would subscribe. And please be faithful to watch. I appreciate that. You know, I want to get to where my channel supports itself. And so far, I'm not making enough money to pay for the groceries that I cook. That's one reason I cut back to three days a week is because I was spending so much on groceries. So if y'all will watch it and share it with your friends and have them to watch, and uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, especially if it's a video that you think you're going to want to come back to. And that'll put it in your like folder on your YouTube homepage, and you can find it quickly. Thanks again for coming, and come back in a day or two and we'll have something else. The good Lord bless y'all.